I'm Roadhog Wilson, and one of the things that I do on this channel is I lead meditations. But one of the things that I wanted to discuss was how mindfulness is a technique ultimately for human interaction. It's something that connects us in our day-to-day -day life. It's something that helps us to understand where another person is coming from even when they're not willing to exhibit that by verbalizing, vocalizing, whatever you want to call it. It's something that ultimately connects us to a whole other world because it allows us to put ourselves second and others first. And I say that we have to put ourselves second because we have to pay attention to the verbal cues, the physical cues, the physical language, the body language. And I do believe that there is a difference because body language can lie. Body language can tell us something that we don't want to know because there are people who are very good at that. But when you pay attention to the deliberate and, and unconscious movements of a person, you're being mindful of where they want you to see them as and where they are. And mindfulness is ultimately a technique in which we think about what we say, we think about what we do, and we act on it in such a way that it's not harmful, it's not detrimental, it's not hurtful in any way. Because there is a kind of behavior that is selfish in how we interact with people. There is a kind of understanding that we have to put ourselves first sometimes, but if we act in a mindful way, we can act in a way where we put everyone on the same level. And I have an image of four rocks piled on top of each other because mindfulness is ultimately the balance that will help you stay focused, stay stable, because it's not just how we see ourselves. If we have positive relationships through how we treat people mindfully, that will counteract our own instability and help us to grow. And mindfulness is ultimately a technique to help build a more secure and stable mental world because it's something that takes a great deal of effort. It's something that many people spend years working on how to properly manage. It's not an easy thing to necessarily adapt. However, it is something that human beings are hardwired to do because we have to as a society pay attention to the world around us. We want to know how people are feeling. We want to feel love and compassion towards people. I believe that. And we want to see a better world. When we read the newspaper, when we see the bridges that are burning, the chaos that's going on in the world. We, we feel sorrowful and we want people to be mindful of that. And as such we have to be mindful of other people because it's an amazing thing that happens when you're mindful of another person. When you utilize mindfulness to its full ability you notice that people's interactions tend to be a little kinder. They tend to be a little softer. They tend to be a little gentler. People are more willing to listen to you, in my opinion. It's been my experience as well. Because your thoughts are more precise, more handled, and well, more composed. And really, this is about a four-minute, 45-second discussion on this. But it's something that... I wanted to touch on so please check out watchingfish.com check out our Twitter page and come back for more videos so we can discuss this at further length see you later bye